I'm Mellie Newton and today I'm going to upcycle this table. Using Newton's wall paints and our new product which is Sea Wash, which is a vintage texture powder. It's an additive that you actually add into paint and it gives it a rustic uh, ocean wash texture look. And I'm going to show you how to use this product today. It's super easy. I bought out three colours because I've decided I want it multicoloured. This is our forest green chalk paint, just into a little pot. This is our Newton's black chalk paint. And this is our out of our wall paint range and it's called cream lace. It's a lovely cream colour. So sea wash additive can be added to any sort of paint. It can be chalk paint, normal wall paint, acrylic paint, um, milk paint, you know, any old scrap paint you've got around home. It's a good way to get rid of all your bits of scrap paint as well. I'm going to add teaspoons of this sea wash powder into the paint. So when I get my little mixer here, here's my spoon. I'm measuring it out. So I'll put roughly half a test pot in here, which a test pot is 90 mils. So it's about, a teaspoon is about 25 mils. So I should only need about a teaspoon and a half, maybe around 40 mils. So I'll just, it's roughly one for one, but it also depends on what sort of paint you're using. So it's just experiment. Mix it up and you can see I'm mixing it up there until it's completely mixed in and it gives you like a very thick texture. It's perfect actually. Uh, icing sugar consistency or a thick paste and little peaks form. So that's just to show you how blobby it is. And that's ready to go. The brush that I prefer to use is one of our wax brushes or it's a, a type of stencil brush and you can buy these online at our online store. They're really good because you're going to be doing a lot of dobbing and globbing and the bristles have to be quite strong or you can use just an old brush that you know it doesn't matter if you wreck it and you're just going to throw it away at the end of it all but these ones last and last so they're really good. So just dipping it in and then glob it. And this is what's going to give you the texture and give you that light rough ocean washed, sea washed finish. Okay, it's a couple of hours since I put my last coat on and now I'm going to do a top coat of our Newton's Colour for Home Zen White. So this is a wall paint, but it's self-priming, so it is a good furniture paint as well. I've got a tin open, so this is the product that I thought I would use to do the top coat. So you do not need to add any sea wash to this coat. All you do is just paint it straight on over the sea wash coat. Here's a close-up of what the finish looks like after you have painted over the sea wash coat underneath. See it's all rough and textured. Next step is to sand back. And this will reveal the colours that are underneath it.
Hi there, we're back painting my table. What I've done so far is I'm just going to angle the camera down onto it. Actually, sanded it back after putting the sea wash on it, as you'll see, and then didn't look right, wasn't happy with it. So I got my husband to cut these grooves in it to make it look like planks. Yeah, the stripe effect so it make it look more nautical looking and the three colors i'm going to use are turquoise uh, that's a melfi blue this one a melfi beautiful and i'm just going to leave the white with it now it's time to start painting all right so i'm just going to paint straight out of the test box because it's just these are a good size. So I've got to do white and mouthy turquoise, white and mouthy turquoise. good thing about this effect is that you don't have to paint too carefully because you're going to be sanded back after you've added this coat to make it look even more distressed and vintage and rustic. Completed the sanding back and making it look all rough and distressed as you'll see when I zoom in um, and the next thing is to clear wax it I'm using our lavender beeswax polish this beautiful product here it's a paste and all I'm going to do is brush it on let that dry for two to five minutes buff it off lightly and then I'm going to add our dark brown and tiki wax to give it a bit of old age patina. Dipping it into the lavender beeswax polish, I'm using our small professional Italian chalk painter's brush. It's a beautiful brush for applying the waxes. Just make sure you clean it up straight away after use, otherwise the wax will all dry hard on it and ruin your beautiful brush. So just brush it on sparingly. 